Cots is the solo project of Montreal composer, singer, and guitarist Steph Yates, blending elements of bossa nova, folk, jazz, and classical against a modern art backdrop. Cots' subtly unconventional compositions and poetics permeate her newest release, Moonlight Building, which is debuting on the Top 30 chart this week. The sounds and images of Cots are familiar, the way dreams and shadows are. Her pure crystalline voice carries the gravitas of songs that evoke lost love and its consequences. Hi, Steph. Thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm doing fine. The sun is out here today. And you are in Montreal right now? That's right. Just below zero today. So it's not it's not too bad. Yeah, it's tropical, just below zero degrees. (laughs) So your new album, Moonlight Building, is very beautiful. It's very... uh, sort of atmospheric. And I feel like I'm I'm listening to a watercolor painting. Um, and I'm just wondering, when you sit down to write, what comes first? Is it images? Is it lyrics? Is it melodies? It's, um, it changes. I mean, it's sort of a case by case basis, what comes first, but most typically, melody and image are the first things and lyrics get fleshed out as I go. And then do you sort of have like a sonic palette in mind? Like, oh, yeah, you know, this is this kind of feeling or, you know, this is going to be major. This is going to be minor. Is it anything like that? It's a little opaque to me. Mm. The process is not that clear. Mm. Um, I sort of feel like I'm finding my way in the dark sometimes Mm -hmm. and just trying to modify chords to hear how it changes the color and the mood of them and and seeing where something wants to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm being wrapped up in a big blanket, like a big cozy <laughs> blanket when I listen to your stuff. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and I'm curious, what kind, what kind of artists or sounds inspire you? Brazilian music is definitely something I have a love for and has informed my vocabulary mm. of chords and chord voicings. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, that's wonderful. It makes sense. You know, when I when I when we hear your music and I think about, you know, all the great Brazilian music that's out there, there is definitely a beautiful similarity in the field. It's like very evocative. Mm-hmm. Now, can you pick a song from the album and tell our listeners a little bit about it, even, you know, how it was written or um, just the story behind it? Sure. Um I'm going to pick No Way, No How, which is the last track on the EP. This was developed out of a pretty simple riff that I wrote Mm. on my garden patio in Guelph. I I had this, this idea, I brought it to the producer who worked on this EP with me, Olivier Fairfield, and... In studio, we played around with arrangement. I wrote, I guess, a counter melody, which is where the lyrics came from. Mm. And we tried things out. And Olivier did some some drum work that adds a bit of disorder and, and not exactly chaos, but something arrhythmic to the environment of the song. We also tried like pushing around furniture in the back room um, just oh, to, cool. to add to the, yes, the world of the song. Um, it was a lot of fun to work on this one. With oh, my gosh. That's, wow, mm-hmm. great pick. Great pick. And I love just the image uh, of you pushing furniture <laughs> around. That's great. It's, <laughs> I feel like we just got a little sneak peek behind the curtain. All right. From her chart debuting EP, Moonlit Building. This is Steph Yates, better known as Cots, and No Way, No How. <laughs> 